Okay, guys. So you see me mix the um, sea starting mix up with the neem oil and the water. And remember, I said you can use really, you know, you use what you have. If you don't have either one of those, I mean, some people have used just regular soil from outside. I don't know your soil type. So um, I can't really tell you, but I mean, if you are able to get sea starting mix and or potty mix, then I suggest now, I really highly suggest that if you are starting it inside, um, you probably do want to use some neem oil because those gnats can get very, very irritating and you do not want gnats flying around your home. So what you see in right here is the sea starting mix I put in a bowl. It have holes in it. Make sure your bowls have holes in it and you have something to catch water. So what we're going to do here, or we're going to do a salad in a bowl. And this is, the weather is hot, it's July. So, but you, you know, you want to still have salad. Um, and you don't want it to end up bolting outside. And if you don't have a certain type of lettuce, then it's not a good idea to start lettuce at this point outside. So what we're going to do is I have some black seeded Simpson. And only th we're going to do something really, really easy. You put your um, seed starting mix in the bowl or your potty mix. And it's not a particular amount at this point because I'm going to pour some in my hand just to make sure. <laughs> I don't like to waste anything. But because it's going to be a salad in the bowl, you don't have to just technically just spread it, spread it out. But what I do is I take a pinch with my hand and I still, on one side, I just sp sprinkle it in. I mean, you can actually thin it out later if that's what you choose to do. And I will put the rest back in my packet because when it do get cool enough, I can still use some of these seeds for outside. Or when I thin them out, I can actually transplant them into another container. So, I know that I have black seeded Simpson on one side. And then I'm going to use a gourmet mix. Um, I actually had this growing um, a couple of, about a month ago. I finally uh, took it out in June. So I'm going to sprinkle this part, this seed variety, on the other side. And it's okay. Um, I didn't I didn't even uh, separate these particular seeds here when I did this one. Because I wanted them to, uh, to grow close together. I mean, that's the good thing about a salad in a bowl. Okay, so now I have the seeds spread it in. So I'm going to take some more seed starting mix <clears throat> and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. It doesn't have to be heavy, 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 heavy. Just want to make sure you cover the seeds up. Once you know you cover the seeds up, I just do a light fluff, light little rub. And then remember, you already moistened. You already moistened. Um, I'm gonna label too. This side is I know is black seeded Simpson, and this side I know is my gourmet mix. And I do want to put the date that I started this. So today is, I think seven nine. So I'm only going to put it on one, well, at, well one, because I know I started them together. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to move this little light here. I have my little spray bottle, my little misting bottle. And I'm going to give it one last little top water to make sure that everything is watered. Ground, you want to contact it with the dirt and you want it to make sure the seeds are able to get you know to be moist 
You don't want them to be dry. You don't have to overdo it because remember you kind of pre-moistened your, so your soil already. And for me, that's what I do for that. The first day. So from there, I will show I will move it um to the side. And I'll show you what we do with that. We just move it up there under the grow lights. 